This is the 2024 Fleetwood Bounder 35K. We're going to show you the outside first, and then we'll take you on the inside. I'll give you my pet peeve, show you his favorite feature, and then a build quality rating. So let's go. Now the first thing that's new for 2024 is this front face. Take a look at that. That is pretty cool. I mean, they still kept LEDs up here. And they give you the extra lights down here instead of just the two. Now, there's something I'm noticing down here, John, and I'm just going to point it out real quick by the license plate. But I think they've got an additional feature in here that they didn't have in our model. Yes, they do. And we'll show you that when we get inside. But let's go around the side here. And you have the Michelin 22.5s right here. You have chrome mirrors with the side view cameras. Past the doorway, you have your outside TV with a sound bar. And we have the large storage areas. This one has your inverter and your converter set up. It's pass through at the top. Your heater. And you can see the size of these are pretty, they're pretty large. Your water heater is here. Oh wait, John, that's a different type of water heater that they have in this now. It is a different type, and I think I like this improvement because check out how easy this opens. That's a Suburban. Yes. They don't have those things or tabs to flip around. Yeah, they don't have the tabs now. It has an actual latch. I like that a little better. Um, you see that you have a large awning that goes from the door to your slide, and this is your bedroom slide. Here is your propane. Rear storage and your hydraulic fluid. And finally, rear pass-through storage. Now around back, we're going to see that it has a backup camera up high. And these come with half ladders. And there'll be another half of the ladder stored in the RV when you purchase it. That's right. Here's your connector for your tow power. They still kept the fuel in the back. Around this side, here's your surge guard, surge protector, and this one actually comes with the power cord reel. Your, this is your Onan 5500 generator. And this is your wet bay with your outdoor shower, your black tank flush, your cable connections and 12 volt, power outlets, and your water filter, and also your black and gray tank dumps. We're at the show. These are kind of tight together. The rest is all storage from here. So let's take a look at the inside. Sherry. Yes? Look. Oh, they've improved that. Well, why don't you show everyone, John? Let's see how that works. Look at this. They have two latches here that flip up. Oh, my gosh. Well, John. I know you're very happy about that, but why don't you explain to everybody who may not know and may not own a Bounder why you like this? On our Bounder and all the ones from the years before this year, you have these screws that go in there and screws in the front. And you have to take out the four screws in this front panel and the two big heavy screws in the top. And then after you did that, you had a metal panel underneath that you had to pull out. And then you had a wooden piece. Then you got to your batteries. So this is a big improvement for this year. This is a huge improvement. I don't have to do all that work. Now, before you go too far, yes. why don't you turn around and tell everyone the cargo carrying capacity. That is 1,487 pounds. Awesome. Well, let's head inside. Let's head in. Yes. <laughs> we just got photobombed. As you come in the door to the left are your controls for your lights, and also for your awning and the awning lights. Your main and auxiliary power cutoff switches are also by the door. This is a little bit different than uh, um, the previous years. They, I like what they've done to this to upgrade it because I didn't like last year's dashboard very much. They have a deeper hole here for putting your phone and it has a wireless charger. The backup cameras, I mean the rear view cameras over here, and they move this from the center over to where the driver can actually reach it and see it. Now they've changed this console a lot. I think that um, the year, like 2021, they went to a different type of cam cam console right. in the mid-year, and 
I think a lot of people didn't like it because it took a lot of the visibility away from the driver. It did. I like what they've done here. We now have the bottom part, which is still very similar to what we have. Yes. And you have this system right here, which can tilt towards the driver. And right. you can easily access all those controls. And you have your storage box right there. Yeah. Yep. Little glove compartment. Okay, John, why don't you uh, keep on going? Well, the biggest change for this year is the ABS system in the front. That is a driver assisted system, intelligent, adaptive cruise control. It has lane keeping assistance, electronic stability, uh, hill start assist, and it has auto high beams, has pre collision assist, active braking support. I mean, this is a substantial upgrade to this RV. This RV has a 7.3 liter, 350 horsepower Godzilla engine in it. It's on the F53 chassis. To my left on the armrest is the electronic leveling system. Here you have adjustments for your mirrors and across the dash you have all your controls for your front shades, your auxiliary start, and your lights, your utility lights, generator, fog lights, and your radio when you're in park. Okay, John. Ooh, Man, I almost fell down from in fall. here. <laughs> so this uh, has a table that comes out like this so that you can work while you're on the road. And over here I have a cup holder and I also have access to a fan. What I don't see is a map light and maybe they just don't have it in this one because there is a button here, so it's probably an option. Ah. For the most part, though, the seat is very, very comfortable. Um, I really like it a lot. All right, let's move on into the living area. Oh, you took it down already, huh? Yeah, they changed it. Oh, it's getting good here. Oh, boy. Good let's, here. See, let's see how good that oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe we should wait till Saturday to see what happens. Good no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, that's what you say now. <laughs> Behind me, over the driver's area, is this television. You have storage areas left and right. Also, up front, behind these cabinet doors, your TV controller and your Wi-Fi Ranger for your internet. On the other side, over the driver, it's just extra storage. Above my head is the Euroloft drop-down bunk. The controls are up here. Also, your controls for your magnum inverter. And you have a control for your room slide out here. Now, as we move back, Next to me is your pantry. Moving on into the living kitchen area, the dining area. Here is your dinette. And this is pretty comfortable. I like these seats. And this drops down to make a bunk as well. Across from that, we have this double sink with this dark fixtures, storage space sponge drawer and more deep storage space under the sink and these three drawers right here with a large one at the bottom and we have a three burner Dometic stove uh, above that convection microwave large cabinet and some storage space there. Below the stove, two large drawers. Residential sized refrigerator. Now, my favorite thing. Ah, this is very nice, yes. Check that out. <laughs> I don't know what you'll put in there, but it's very deep. And these are power. You may continue with the tour without me. Okie dokie. <laughs> right. On opposite the recliners, we have <laughs> your TV with sound bar. And then below that, you have a fireplace which is great for generating heat. And above that, we have a cabinet up here. Now, this is not very deep, 
inside, but we've still managed to find things that we can put in there. Uh, behind the recliners, you have a very large window that does open up. It's actually two windows that open up. And then you have another window right here for cross ventilation. Then you also have this side table. The side table has 110 on the side right there. And then you have some additional storage right underneath there. And that is very, very deep. Oh, there's a couple of things I didn't notice. One, there's a covered USB port here. And two, there's another deep storage in both armrests on either side of the couch. And now, let's see what's behind this one. Here's your half bath. Look at the size of this medicine cabinet. We have the sink, underneath the sink, a little more space, some more storage here, along with a small drawer next to it, and a 110 outlet. Your porcelain toilet right here in the corner with your toilet paper holder, small holder there, and a, a towel rack. And above my head is another cabinet with adjustable shelves. And into the bedroom. This is a king size bed, has lights above it and speakers. These storage cabinets are pretty deep. The center one lights up and it's for uh, your CPAP, has an opening right here for your hose. You have these large windows on either side, which do open. And then you also have an end table with uh, USB and 110 outlets. Next to you, you may need to come past me here to see this, the wardrobe. That is very, very large. It is very large, yes. Below that is where your breakers are and a couple of storage drawers. This six drawer space right here underneath your emergency escape window. And of course, the not so secret, secret storage. <laughs> and back here, you also have your Aluminoplex system for diagnosing uh, any type of uh, electrical type problems you might have. Yes. Let's see what's here. So in this one, this is just a big open space, but we have a 2021 bounder, and ours is fitted for a Splendid washer-dryer combo. And above that, more deep storage. You know it's time for, Sherry? What is it time for, John? Me to take a shower. This is a roomy shower, and it's pretty tall. I'm 5'6", so, and I like this because it's adjustable. It goes up and down. Um, the only strange thing in this unit is that the fixtures seem to be black or dark brown, and in here they're chrome. So a little bit of a mismatch, huh? A little bit. And then um, out here, have this large cabinet with adjustable shelf and four large drawers here. A very large medicine cabinet. A nice sink with um, lots of counter space there and storage underneath the sink. Porcelain toilet. And now it's time for the pet peeve favorite feature and build quality rating. My pet peeve, I mean, I'm still not a big fan of the dashboard. Uh, I still like the older one better, but I mean, this is where we are. So I can't do much about that. As far as the layout goes, that's, that's the only thing I can see. I mean, inside and out, I think I'm, I'm fine with everything else. You have a favorite feature? I have to say my favorite feature is, actually before I say what my favorite feature is, uh, if you are enjoying our content, we ask that you please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell. We do RV tours, campground reviews, and camping vlogs. Okay, back to my favorite feature. I think my favorite feature is now, remember, we have one of these, and so there's lots of different things that I like and I know about, but for this new year, 
I really like that aggressive looking front end. I'm gonna say I like, I like the design. I like the aggressive looking front end, and I also like the way the floors are. So now John and I are gonna take a quick break. We're gonna go tear this coach apart and then come back with a build quality rating. So the build quality rating, John, did you find anything? No, nothing major at all. I could I, barely find anything. I found a couple of things, like a trim that was offset from the wall. Actually, for, for the most part, it's in good condition. I think that for this particular model, we're going to have to give Fleetwood a 9 out of 10. Yes, this easily. Was, this was very well done, very well built. So 9 there out of 10, Fleetwood, nice job. Okay, that's it for this one, and we're on to the next one.